welcome to today's video for the new 15 cars of GTA Online. Today we have got the Lampadati Tigon <coughs> in the superclass and I am going to start off with the little paragraph that is on the GTA or the Rockstar Newswire describing the vehicle. If the Lampadati Tigon was a stranger at a bar it would have an an oh an alluring accent and an and no an ev, an event grade haircut and an illuminated expense something whatever this is just a lot of ands in this it looks and somehow smells exotic exclusive and luxurious the machine simply oozes sex appeal among other things Yes, I will give them that. It is a very nice looking car. Performance wise, it's not that fantastic. Um, you, <clears throat> it's not four wheel drive like the uh, Krieger or the, I believe the Emirates. It's quite tail happy if you don't take corners uh, quite right, which means there's a lot of spin and not a lot of trust behind the wheel. Customization wise, there is there's not actually a lot um, I know it's only a supercar but nah there's not really a great deal of customizations available for this car and livery wise again they're not fantastic there's a couple there that's like that's okay but it's not a it, it's not a very good car for customizations or liveries Performance is all right. Uh, it's quick, but the quickness doesn't have any like control to go with it. A bit like the Krieger, you've got the speed and you've got the four-wheel drive. This has got the speed. It's just lacking the control when it comes to the bumps in the road. Uh, straight line tracks, I'm sure it'd be great. Uh, it's just a case of going around corners. With this back spinning out is about the thing you're going to have to worry about. <clears throat> the appearance of it, however, is, like it says in the description, a very good looking car. It's a very beautiful car, uh, especially ones for people who are collecting. If you're a collection, well, if you're a car collector, then you will want this car as your collection because it's kind of... It's a bit of a classic old styled street version of a racer kind of thing. It's like a um I don't know, it it's it's like a it's basically like a, a road going version of a um a Le Mans racer kind of thing. Um but unfortunately because there is not much to talk about with the performance and the customizations that it's got there's not really much I can say about this car other than I wouldn't spend the money on getting it at full price either wait for it to be on the lucky wheel and try and get it for free or wait for it to be uh, discounted if you really really want it wait for it to either be free or discounted do not pay full price for this because I mean I was quite shocked by the prices of all the cars that came out just because I was expecting like two three million dollar cars but no these are all quite they're, they're good cars they're good prices as well um, but unfortunately the price for this does not reflect the performance not even a slightest so wait for it to be free or discounted uh, customizations it's okay you get a couple like you know different variants of the same car but nothing too insane and the liveries again they're not hugely fantastic um, tell you what looking at the picture it kind of looks like a more civilian version of the uh, scramjet mainly because of the side how it kind of it's out at the wheels and then it closes in a little bit into the center by the door kind of thing I'm not really sure but yeah <clears throat> it's a very nice looking car but it's not 
I don't think it'd be a race winner. Unless you know how to drive, then it probably will do good, but it will be a tough struggle. But hopefully this was helpful in any way. If it wasn't, do leave a like, leave a comment if you've bought it already and what your thoughts are on it, what your favourite livery is, or kind of colour scheme combination um, is. Um, or in the comments, let me know what your favourite car is so far in this update. And if you do go ahead and enjoy, then do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified on any future updates or videos that are unleashed to the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.